might as well go back to uh, Purdue and uh, that loss to Rutgers. But it, it, Rutgers is a tough team. Yes, they're gonna. Every time you play this Rutgers team, you better be ready for a fist fight. Uh, don't bring a gun to a knife fight when you're playing Rutgers. Uh, it, it's it's or don't bring a knife to a gun fight. <laughs> right, I meant right, to right. say. Uh, when you're playing Rutgers because they're coming in to win. And I don't care where it's going to be. Indiana fans better be weary when they come in to Bloomington. Um, this is a team that is wanting to win, and they're not getting the respect. They're not ranked. They've now beaten right. Indiana and Purdue, both listed as favorites to win the Big Ten. And they're not ranked. So, But they have had, like I said, Justin, they, they've had an inconsistent season as well. Um, yeah. So it's going, man, this Big Ten is going to be uh, just a, a very interesting trip. Uh, it, it is going to be a, a rough ride for whomever. And Purdue showed some of their flaws. We've talked, you know, a lot about their guards, the how well they have been doing. But at the same time, I think that they showed some youth last night. And a team was able to get uh, Zach Eady in, in foul trouble after yeah. we talked about him only having 21 personal fouls and 26 blocks going into that game last night. But they got it. I think, didn't he get a foul like a minute into the game? Yeah, it was the very first possession Rutgers had. He picked up a foul. Uh, and that was that was a really fun basketball game. Anybody that was just watching it, would I mean, that was that was great back and forth. Rutgers had a big lead. Purdue took a, a lead on a Fletcher Lawyer shot late in the game. And then Cam Spencer hit a big time shot there on the road. Clutch situation. I this may not this uh, a lot of people not a big fan of Paul Mulcahy. I love that kid's game. Um, he I was talking to, to John and Jim and before we started, he reminds me a lot of Robbie Hummel. Um, maybe not necessarily in, in his his style of play, but the fact that he can hit a three, the fact that he defends really well, he's a team leader. He can get you into the paint and, and cause problems. This is a really gritty Rutgers basketball team, and they are a ton of fun to watch, especially on the defensive end. They are damn good defensively. And the other thing is, we talked about this too, Jim. We've we've given a lot of praise to produce freshman guards uh, for a lot of reasons through the first thirteen games. Braden Smith last night did not – I mean, there was a lot of bad passing. There was a lot of bad decision-making last night. As you said, when you get into some of these game, games where you got to make the right plays, I thought Purdue played sloppy. I thought that their their basketball IQ last night was pretty low in a lot of areas. So uh, – look, and, and nobody's going to go through the Big Ten undefeated, but I think that this – to put, bring, put this back into an IU spin a little bit here is that I think nobody is unbeatable. And every, almost everybody in this league is going to have a chance every single night. So I think now after seeing the way Rutgers, I think they, I know the final score didn't, doesn't show this, but I thought that they kind of dominated that game from, from, you know, basically the first, I don't know, after the first four minutes moving forward, I thought they pretty much, pretty much dominated that game on the defensive end. So this is going to be a grind. It's going to be an incredibly fun big 10 season. I don't think you've had those, you don't have those three or four teams that are going to, you know, emerge and, and separate themselves at the top like we've seen these past few years. I think that this is going to be a very deep race and a lot of fun. And uh, now, now if you're Indiana, uh, smell blood in the water a little bit here and, and go on the road and, and give it all you got against Iowa because there's there's nobody in this conference that's unbeatable. We've seen that with Illinois. We've seen it now with Purdue. We've seen it with Wisconsin. Very deep league. Anybody can be had any night. Yeah, I was looking at um, – here's a, another – we talked about that youth a little bit. Here's – that's the exact opposite of Rutgers. Uh, while Purdue is starting two freshmen and a sophomore in their lineup that has gone – and and you know what? They're going to hit some bumps. Uh, you look at look at uh, uh, um, Malik Renew for Indiana. He was really trending up through an entire season, and he hit, hit – when, when, the, when the competition revved up, his 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 age showed a little bit. So, but Purdue is starting two freshmen and a sophomore, and but Rutgers starts a junior, a senior, two fifth year seniors. They are experienced, um, and they haven't won anything, and so they're they're hungry, and yeah. they're tired of hearing Indiana. They're tired of hearing about Purdue. They're tired of hearing about Michigan. They're tired of hearing about Illinois. Um, no one has talked about Rutgers really, and. Um, they're just a tough team. They're they're just gonna, like you said, the inconsistency that was pointed out earlier 
is something they're going to have to get past. But they're they are they're a player. How can they not be considered a player right. for the Big Ten title now? When you go and you pull off a win on the road like that, and you've already got a win over Indiana, you're you're sitting in pretty good pretty good shape. There's a there's a chance that Rutgers is the best team in Indiana. They certainly they certainly own Indiana. I I, I don't know if anybody has this stat, but haven't they won like eight or nine games in a row over Purdue and Indiana? Something something absurd, I think. Well, that's that they've got I, that almost alone over Indiana. Um, I, but maybe, they've also maybe, beat Purdue last year. Yeah, they did beat Purdue last year. Maybe Purdue got him at home last year. I can't remember off the top of my head, but there's they've won quite a few uh, recently over those two teams. And I mean, when you sometimes when you just have teams' number, you just have their number. And, and Greg Peichel knows how to coach against Indiana, and he knows how to coach against Purdue. That's uh, that's become quite evident. Yeah, uh, Rutgers was in Purdue's face. They were in these freshmen's yes. face, but they were picking him up high. They were they were not letting him come in. They were picking him up beyond the, uh, the 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 perimeter line and getting in their face and making. That's why you talked about passes. They were in their face, making things difficult. Their shooting was off. They they really disrupted everything. But again, that's two freshmen and a sophomore versus a junior, a senior, and two fifth year guys. These guys, they're, they're, they're experienced. Not only are they experienced, they're Big Ten experience. They're big game experience. Steve Peichel is doing a hell of a job. Um, he, he doesn't <laughs> – who talked about Steve Peichel in the Big Ten? Yeah, you, know, you hear about Mike Woodson. You hear about uh, Jawan Howard and Tom and Izzo and uh, Matt Painter. And um, it just – but Peichel doesn't get a lot of credit. No. He doesn't, but he just, he just puts his nose to the grindstone and, and gets to work, man. And the reason that Rutgers is so damn scary every game is because they are so good defensively. Uh, they can – they can if they're shooting well, they can win a game 75-65. If they're not shooting well, they can win a game 48-46 to if they have to. That's what makes this team a lot of fun. And I agree that their, their defensive pressure, especially at the guard position, forced Purdue to make a lot of bad decisions last night. You saw it, they, they could not get into much of a rhythm until late in that game. And then obviously the ability to get Zach Eady in the early foul trouble, that was a big factor in that game too. So that's Rutgers is, if you haven't seen them yet, watch them because they are a fun basketball team to watch.